Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your specialty practice production pearl of the week. So let me ask you a question. Can your referring doctors count on you? Count on you. And of course, what did you just say? Yes, of course they can. I'm accountable. I'm an excellent specialist. I'm a great clinician. I believe most specialists are. And they can count on me. But can they? And counting on you also means counting on your practice. So let me give you three examples of blow-ups that have cost practices production and possibly lost great referral sources in the last month. One new client had a referring doctor who called the practice himself, spoke to the front desk of the specialty practice. This is an A-level doctor, which means a really good referral source. And the front desk told the doctor on a Friday morning that they would not be able to see the patient until Monday afternoon. Well, that doctor who'd been a very loyal, very steady referral source, a lot of production for that practice, went off and found another referring doctor to refer to and sent the referring doctor a note about how disappointed he was, literally with the words that led to this pearl, I thought I could count on you, but apparently I was wrong. The second part's the dig. He was, he was not just saying, by the way, I couldn't count on you. He was also saying, you let me down. You hurt me. We have a relationship. Now, the specialist knew nothing about this, but remember, your front desk is the face of your practice to a specialty practice. Number two, a patient came in, referred by an A-level doctor. Patient was very excited about having a certain procedure performed. It wasn't gonna be done that day and ended up waiting 50 minutes in the reception room over the time with nobody telling the patient that there was a wait, a delay, a problem, an emergency, no $5 Starbucks gift card that you've heard me talk about when you're running more than 10 minutes late, and the patient walked out. The patient called the referring doctor's office and left a message that she wanted to be referred elsewhere. Referring doctors hate problems coming from specialists, and they also hate when a patient that's referred doesn't accept treatment. Big negative. If you've got lots of patients coming in not accepting treatment, maybe your case presentation system is not working right, maybe you're not explaining the fee options, whatever it is, referring doctors hate that. And now this referring doctor is mad at the specialty practice. And we only know this because referrals have been 50% of what they were in the last eight weeks. Is it a short-term punishment or a long-term trend? We don't know yet. And of course, we've encouraged the specialist now, we just met this specialist to meet with the referring doctor uh, to talk about uh, the situation. Uh, we only assume it's a situation because the patient walked out and refused to return any calls back to the practice. The third scenario is really not good. The patient had treatment in the specialty practice from an A office. The specialist went on vacation and the patient had severe complications. What does a patient do? Starts calling the general dentist. Uh, but the GP, not being qualified to handle this, uh, the patient ended up in the, in the hospital, admitted to a hospital. Well, that's a big clinical issue, even though it may be no one's fault. And right now, I hope all of you have a little chill going up your spine because it could happen to anybody. I'm not being critical of the specialist, other than there was no communication protocol for a problem with a patient that became a hospital admittance. So these are three examples. We hear them all the time. You know, I love to say it can take years to build a great relationship with an A and seconds to kill it. Let me say that to you again. It can take years to build a great relationship with an A and seconds to kill it. Keep your communication part of the referral marketing program at the highest level. Anticipate what could go wrong. Look for red flags and then deal with it. Don't make a patient sit for 50 minutes in a reception room with no communication. Don't go on vacation with no follow-up for patients. I know specialists that have gone overseas and still called patients from the previous couple days that had big procedures to see how they were doing. And then, by the way, what a great marketing uh, feedback to give to the referring doctor. I was in France or Spain or England, but I called Mrs. Jones. She's doing great. Now, that's a text you don't get every day. 
As always, I wish you increased practice production and referrals every year, and I'll see you next week.